Hey guys, it's Corb Ross and 16 News. Today we're going over how to play the Siege Cup in Rainbow Six Siege. So we'll start with what it is. It's an in-game tournament that you can participate in. So this is not like a playlist. This is a tournament within the game. And as such, you will go into a bracket. You will play a specific other team. If you defeat them, you move up and then you fight another team. And these are all done in like specific times and everything. So you're going to need a lot of spare time to play this. You're also going to need a five stack of players because you cannot go in with randoms. And this is a new level of competitiveness in Rainbow Six Siege. This is higher than ranked. So first off, the Siege Cup is going to begin on October 9th. So this will be the very first one. And you can see there is a specific time, 3 p.m. EDT, or in the European region, you've got 2.30 British summer time. So if you want to take part, your squad leader has to register at this website, link in the description below. And this is PC only at this point for this season. It's supposed to come to console next season. And your squad leader will need to be online with your entire squad at this time to play and then work your way, hopefully, through the Siege Cup. This is a Wednesday, so if you have a job, you ain't playing unless you get a holiday or something like that. So this is going to be quite a commitment to try and actually get in and play the Siege Cup. I don't presume that most of the player base will jump on and play the Siege Cup. I assume it's going to be a minority. But for anyone who can jump on and play it, it could be extremely cool. But I will say I have no plans to take part in this whatsoever. I'm not a very competitive person, so it's not for me. But I think it's going to be potentially absolutely excellent. Now, Ubisoft has also posted our FAQ, which is Frequently Asked Questions. But um, they don't have much in it. This is the page for their Frequently Asked Questions. And it just says you can sign up for a chance to participate in Rainbow Six Siege Closed Beta. And they say, please note, only the squad leader will need to register for the closed beta. And to register, you need to go to a certain website, log in with your Ubisoft Connect on PC and register your account. You will then get a confirmation email. And then if you are selected, so everyone who signs up may not get to play, you will be able to then go and play in the closed beta. And once selected, teammates can be registered in game just before the Siege Cup begins. Should you not receive an email, please check your spam or promotional folders. And that's it for the FAQ. I think the biggest issue with this potential Siege Cup here is just that you might be set to go up against another team. And that other team just doesn't show up. And, you know, that would be great. You get a free win. But I think that might happen a lot because a lot of people will register. They'll get signed up. And then there's a chance that they just won't show up on the day. And then for us console players, we are going to be missing out on this. We're not going to be able to play it at all, um, at least this season. But we are getting some compensation, which is some free competitive coins. I presume enough to buy one pack for the competitive packs. You also get the Emperor playing ranked as well. Now, overall, if this is done well, it could end up being really, really good. And it'll be, like I say, a minority of the player base. But maybe in the future, they'll be able to put this out on the weekend. If it, you know, I assume the reason it's midweek is because... There's probably going to be lots of bugs. You can see that their infographic here actually has the bug reporting site for Rainbow Six Siege, probably because they're going to have tons of bugs to begin with. And hopefully if it gets to the point where this thing is able to just be deployed without issues and maybe having a skeleton crew at the weekend to look after it, then maybe they'll be able to launch this at the weekends instead so that, of course, people who work can potentially jump on. Now, other things we don't know about this system is how the heck it does any kind of balancing. They talked about Siege Cup many years ago, and it was going to use your skill rank of your squad, but they haven't mentioned that at all. And of course, nowadays, your actual rank is not connected to your skill. So I don't know if they're going to be using any kind of skill-based matchmaking at all with this, or if they just throw everyone in and see how it goes. I do not have a clue. Now, I'll end this video with Christopher Budgeon here actually going over how Siege Cup works. So hopefully this may answer a few more questions that you may have. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. In Year 9, Season 3, Operation Twin Shells, we're happy to announce the beta of Siege Cup. We made the decision to restrict Siege Cup beta to the PC platform because we can be much more reactive. If something happens with the Siege Cup, we can address it much faster than with other platforms. We really want to launch Siege Cup in its full form in Year 9, Season 4. Competitive integrity is imperative for Siege. That's why having a beta to make sure we can register the squads, formulate the brackets, distribute the rewards, we have to get it right. To register your team for the Siege Cup beta, follow the QR code or the link that you see on the screen and get ready for news about the first Siege Cup coming your way. With Siege Cup, you have to register as a five stack, meaning that you have to bring four of your friends, get ready to compete until the tournament is over. Once the Siege Cup starts, you're there committed to the Siege Cup to play until you get eliminated or, of course, win the tournament.
we see the Siege Cup beta as our most competitive playlist, even more so than ranked, because the stakes are extremely high. The first Siege Cup will be near the beginning of Year 9 Season 3, and after the finish of the first tournament, we'll run another every two weeks for the remainder of Year 9 Season 3. In Year 9 Season 3, we're introducing a new currency called Competitive Coins. Competitive Coins are exclusive to our competitive playlist, that being Ranked and Siege Cup. Get as far as you can within the ranks, as well as play as many Siege Cups as you can to get competitive coins to open these exclusive packs. In Year 9 Season 3, all console players will receive one free competitive pack. Move up the ranks, get as many competitive coins as you can, so you can continue to open packs in that collection.